Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will discuss this thermowatt temperature controller it is thermostat it is used in electrical geysers the electrical supply is applied here at the input terminals line and neutral and here is the heating element which is connected here we set our required temperature from this temperature setting knob for example I need 30 degree temperature of the water if the water temperature in this cabin is less than 30 degree at that time it will turn on the electrical connections here inside it is a switch it will open or close this switch as per our requirement and as per the temperature in the room that is the cabin of the water geyser when the temperature room temperature is less than the required temperature it will allow to pass the electrical current to the heating element at these two points so the heating element will start to heat up and the water in this cabin will heat up it will control the temperature of the heating element it have two connections here that are the output points for indicator when it will apply the power to the heater same time it will give parallel connection to the lamp how it is configured line and neutral neutral is connected uncontrolled the line is controlled by temperature and it have bipolar safety and it will apply voltage to the heating element same time it will give same voltage to the neon when the heating element will operate same time it will give to this neon so the neon will indicate that the heater is heating up when the temperature will exceed or will meet our required temperature at that time it will disconnect the electrical path by opening this switch how we can check it how it works let's start if you are new to my channel you can subscribe it and press bell icon button so that you will notified with my new videos this time I am not using the heating element I am using just only this jumper wire to simulate that heater is connected here it is just only to simulate we will connect multimeter here when this switch will operate it will give continuity through this jumper wire it will simulate same as we are connecting the heating element set multimeter to continuity I will set the temperature setting knob to its minimum point that is counterclockwise position. Now I will heat up. It is turned off. And it will wait until the temperature of this area is cooled again. When I heated up what I did? I increase the temperature of this bimetallic tube so that it, it was indicating that the heater was heating up and the water in this cabin have more temperature when it have high temperature then this rating it will remain off now I will increase temperature I will move it slightly clockwise it turned on again what I did I told this system that I need more temperature than the present temperature now it is heating up for example the electrical supply is applied to this heater wire when it is heating up that means the room temperature the cabin temperature cylinder temperature of the water geyser is increasing let's heat up again it means the water in this area where we are using in some water geyser this time 
its temperature is more than our required temperature which we set from this knob now it will wait until it has cooled down so in this way it can be tested now let's check its connections as I discussed one line is uncontrolled what is the uncontrolled line I will set it to minimum temperature set one line to the neutral that is here so one line is connected directly it have no effect for this thermal switch while our the second line which is connected to the lamp it is controlled from here from this switch so we can say this one line is controlled by the thermostat that is here when the temperature will decrease it will turn off the heating element the same this point and this point is controlled through this temperature setting that's here okay while the same time this line is connected directly neutral is connected directly line is controlled through this thermostat switch let's see how it is working slightly lift this knob up it is removed now we have five blocks here one two three four and five just only open it let's see its structure inside if we see this mechanism we have electrical connection here we have electrical contact here that is here now now it is make it is close contact when I will heat up this bellow what it will do it turned off when the temperature will decrease again it will make automatically now we will wait until the temperature will decrease we will wait until the temperature will decrease and it will reset these points now how we can adjust it if we cannot find our required temperature how we can adjust it the one shaft small quarter pin is here it is to align its position this plate is here which is to set the manual temperature and the final this nut now how we can set it to its proper setting when it is cooled down properly set this knob so that it will open just only allow it to open at this point now close it and then we will fix its position how we can calibrate it how we can adjust it at its some required temperature move this knob to listen the one click sound that is one sound okay now at this point move tweezer to the full left counterclockwise position 
so that it will touch to this point that's here now move slightly to the clockwise now this is the position where we will set this temperature setting knob so this is the good position here it is off at minimum temperature set multimeter to continuity connect to the input terminals slightly set to the minimum counterclockwise and it is now operated that the temperature is low heat up it must disconnect it's disconnect so it is good now we can increase the temperature that we need more temperature now it will make connections for the heating element and it will heat up when the temperature will increase again it will trip off again so it's good I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh